All right, dudes. Aries. We got a week coming up for you. It's the Sunday the 10th through Saturday. I know I should have wrote this down. You'll know what date Saturday is when it comes. <laughs> uh, Aries. Oh, we're, we're starting it off. We're starting it off. Uh, check it out, too. Look. I'm not going to be a stupid idiot anymore. Look at that. And on top of that, I realized with the last type of reading I was giving you guys, I was kind of shortchanging you a little bit. Not that you guys were paying for it at all. Um, <laughs> but I realize now that like I'm not talented enough to do a 7 card, 14 card. Jeez, that was a 16 card reading I was doing last week. I'm not, I'm not good enough for that, you know. I'm still a baby. I'm still a baby tarot reader. So, we're going to knock it back to a three card, three card clarification. I might do a, a energies you can't see. You know what I mean? But you know what I mean. All right. Thank you for showing up. I appreciate it. Tahoe Tarot. If you want to tip me for my tarot reading, it's in the description below, my PayTal. But you don't have to. I don't care. It's fine. I'm just happy I got this thing. This is going to make it so we got the whole, we got the whole damn, and then I'll be able to tell the story. So we'll do, let's give it a three card reading for the next week for Aries. Let's do it. Jesus, help me. Please help me. Come down. You're my buddy. Help me read this reading for things oh yeah and I need to say uh, if you guys haven't meditated today or gone ahead and worked out through your shit today turn off this reading and do that don't be bringing in your monkey brain energy into my eight readings okay don't be getting on on Facebook and instacart and <laughs> TikTok. And not even waking up on the day of the Lord and saying your prayers and getting a meditation in and coming in and messing the reading up for all the other good Aries that care about their well-being. All right? Turn it off before I even flip this card that Jesus is helping me with. And you go meditate. All right? You clear your chakras. You do some breathing exercises. Then come back. All right, Jesus. What do you want Aries to know for this next coming week? Ooh, you got the Six of Wands. Okay. Six of Wands. Six of Wands. Hmm. Victory, award, recognition, and good news and success. But it's in reverse, so the opposite of those. You're getting defeat, no awards. <laughs> All right, any devils and demons? Come on in and help my friend Aries here. Give them some cool stuff to listen to. You'll probably lie to them, but whatever. You're welcome here. I saw a demon in a dream last night, and I, uh, but I'm, I'm thinking about him as I say this for the Aries. Come on in. Give me some bullshit. Boom. Ooh, Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords. Theft, betrayal, <laughs> dishonesty. <laughs> All right, Aries. That's from the demon, but he might be lying about that. All right, lastly, let's get... The great and wonderful, Lang Staley, please come down and help Aries with this reading. I love your music. The rooster himself needs to come down here. Thank you very much. I appreciate your help. All right. All right, give me a good card. Come on, I got two bad cards. Give me a good card, Lang Staley. Hook me up. Boom. Ooh. Nine of Wands. All right. What do we got for the Nine of Wands? Keeping and maintaining boundaries. That's from Lane Staley. Okay. If you don't know who Lane Staley is, stop this video, forget anything you heard here, and just go listen to Alice in Chains for a little bit. All right. It's going to be rainy. It's a shitty January day. Go listen to Lane Staley. Okay. It's not this important. This isn't. That's much more important. Important. If you don't know who Lane Staley is right now, get out of here. 
and go listen to, you know, some Alice in Chains. This is Lane Staley, just so you know. All right? It's my homie. He's helping us with the reading today. All right, can I get some clarification for Aries? What was that nine of wands for, anyway? Keeping and maintaining boundaries. All right. All right. Give me some clarification for the six of wands in reverse for Aries. Three of pentacles. Teamwork. Collaboration skills. Okay. So you got teamwork, collaboration skills, craftsmanship. You're building something, but this next week, it's not going to work out, probably. Okay. Let me get some clarification for the Seven of Swords. The Death Card, Aries. I think we all know what the Death Card means. I think we know, you know. This is my, this is a rad card, just so you know. All right, so Betrayal and Death. <laughs> And that's from the demons, just heads up. That's the demons talking, so it's, it's all good. We basically figured that would happen. Um, if anything, they're lying about that, and that's not what's going to happen. All right, let's clarify this nine of wands, these boundaries you're setting. Ooh, we got the seven of pinnacles. It's this guy thinking about his stuff, hanging out in the background. All right, seven of pinnacles. Too many choices, commitments. No, wait, nope. Seven of Pentacles. Patience, hard work, delayed success, and waiting. So you're examining your options, you're setting boundaries. Probably because these other two shitty parts of this hand, you're going to be doing a lot of these this week. You know, setting boundaries and putting in some long term work. Okay, patience, hard work. That's a good message. All right, let's see the energy surrounding Aries this week that they don't know about. Ooh, the Queen of Swords. She's a babe. We all know the Queen of Swords is a babe. If you can think of who I'm thinking of right here, Aries, you're a genius. All right, clarify that for me, please. Four of Cups in reverse. Okay, so it's the Queen of Swords. Self-sufficient person, total honesty, all right, and we got the Four of Cups, Apathy, Unfulfilled, Surprised Gifts, Surprising Gifts, Surprise Gifts. Okay, so that's in reverse. So you're caring, you might get a surprise gift, or you won't get any gifts. And so nurturing, and you have a nurt, no, no. Self-sufficiency and honesty, and apparently learning to care, so the opposite of apathy, is what's coming up for you this week. And that's the energy surrounding you that you need to know, that we're helping you with here. All right. There you go, Aries. That was my first shot at this. An actual reading with the stuff right here. Thank you for watching. Tahoe Tarot, I, I appreciate you coming in. Go meditate. I mean it. That's very important. It's important for your head.